Okay, hi there everyone. Let's talk about CM number 5. So, let's begin first with cooperative learning. Cooperative learning involves students working together to accomplish shared goals and it is in this sense of interdependence that motivate group members to help and support each other. When students work cooperatively, they learn to listen to what others have to say, give and receive help, reconcile differences, and resolve problems democratically. Cooperative learning is an educational format that is useful in many strategies in teaching mathematics. In this format, students work together in small mixed ability groups to achieve a particular goal or to complete an academic task. It fosters social skills, positive peer relationships, and a high level of self-esteem, thus reducing competition and increasing cooperation among students. So the, the key word here is simply cooperate where they're group members. That's what cooperative learning is all about. It's teamwork. These are the four common formats used for cooperative learning. So we have here the first one. That's what we call the STAD, the Student Teams Achievement Division. So the teacher presents the content, the lesson, or the skill. After which, students complete common tasks in groups and then are tested individually. Individual students' improvements in performance are calculated to get team score. That is STAD. Think pair share. So the students first try to work out the task by themselves. So this is working alone first. Then after which, they then form pairs and they interact with their pair and discuss their thoughts with each other. So they work independently alone after which they will look for a pair, they will share, they will be interacting, they will discuss their thoughts with their partner. And then, the teacher will now group the class together and they will share their understanding to the whole class. That is Think, Pair, Share. Jigsaw. So I'm going to give you a, an example of Jigsaw. So students are assigned to teams. The academic materials is divided into several sections. The members of different teams who have studied the same section meet in expert groups to discuss their sections. Then the students return to their teams and take turns teaching their teammates about their section. So an example is this. I am going to be having the topic, the mean, the median, and the mode. So, I will be grouping the students with three members for each group. And each member will be assigned the mean, another member the median, another member the mode. So, I will give now the material. No, it's not that. So, the mean, one student for group A. Median, one another student for group A. Mode, another student from group A again. That's for group A. For group B, the same. One student for mean, one student for median, one student for mode. For each group, again, three members. And assign each student with the mean, the median, and the mode. Then those who are assigned with the mean... All members assigned with the mean will group as one. All members assigned with the median will be grouped as one. And all members assigned with the mode will group as one. Then the teacher will now give the material to the group for the mean, material for the group sa median, Material para sa group na mode ang assignment. So, 
each group now will discuss the group for the mean will discuss everything they will share ideas about the mean the second group they will now talk about the mode and the third group will talk about the median so ilan ang i-discuss og maayo per group then after which they will now go back to their original group katong groups of with three members wherein si mean ang mag-start og discuss iyang i-discuss unsa nang mean to the two group mates niya igoman niya discuss Kato na sang na-assign sa mode. Kato na assign sa mode, siya mo discuss sa mode. And the last one, the median, kato ang assign sa median, mo to'y may discuss sa iyang groupmate sa median. Mo na gitawag na ko o jigso. Okay? Then there is what you call the team-assisted instruction. Students are assigned materials at their own achievement level. And then, assisted by their group members in learning the material. Group points are obtained through improvement on individual tests. Now, there is what you call the peer practice strategy. This is used when you want students to develop a deeper understanding of concepts by practicing previously taught information. They do so by teaching their peers and honing their helping skills in the process this strategy allows students to learn how to help each other and how to communicate effectively and these are the steps the teacher must prepare parallel worksheets for students so there will be two worksheets worksheet a and worksheet b form peer practice partners Discuss the roles of the doer and the helper. Now, let's talk about the example. So, we have here a sample plan using the peer practice strategy. And I am using, let me make use of a pen. I am having the topic ratio and proportion. So, as you can see, we have here letter A, the presenting of the roles implementing the roles, discussing the roles. So you can rephrase that or you can simply copy that for your lesson plan. Then the important part will be the two worksheets, not a worksheet one and worksheet two. Take note, if you have five questions in worksheet one, you should also have five questions in worksheet two. Okay? So, take note na ni parts. Task A, Task B. Answers to column B, Answers to column A. Okay, here's the thing. You will be making a question for Task A. And the answer for this is found over here. So, ang nai-answer ki ana ang naa sa worksheet number 2. Okay? Now, you will make another question similar to what? Uh, similar to the problem in task A. And the answer for this is found in worksheet number 1. Okay? Then, you have another question. The answer key is found over here that's thoroughly discussed. And you have another question for worksheet number two. The answer key is found over here. The same thing with number three, number four, number five. These are the answer keys. Same thing with the worksheet two. These are the questions, three, four, and five. And these are the answer keys. Now, sir, nganong nga naman ang style, sir? Because this will be the format. You give this to student A, you give this to student B. So, si student A will answer this question. Okay? Si student A mag-answer ani nga question. Si student B pod mag-answer ani nga question. E guman og answer ni student A og student B, 
correct uh, i-correct tayo na check ni student A using the answer key ang work ni student B. At the same time, si student B, iya sang check ang work ni student A using the answer key nga na aniya. Nya iya nang i-discuss sa iya hang peer para makasabot sa solution. The same thing with the rest of the numbers. So, this is what you call peer practice strategy. Now, let's go to your course material. No. So, this will be course material number five, assessment task number one. So, we have here at task number one is identification. So, kining one to seven, this is simply identifying what is being described. For numbers 8 to 10, you will identify what step is being described here sa think pair share Sa 11 until 15, you will identify what step is being described ani about cooperative learning. Okay? Sa critical thinking, you are given a sample graphic organizer. You can make your own design of a graphic organizer or you can follow this design. So, what's in the graphic organizer? The center must contain the cooperative learning approach. We have here, number one, write your own definition. So, based on the definition, based on the definition, From this CM, rephrase that. Make your own definition. Then you have here number that's number one. Number two is to write the five steps. So after writing the five step, make a short description for each step. So step number one, write it down, write a short description. Step number two, write step number two and your short description. The same thing with the other steps. So, for number three, just write the roles of the teacher and write the roles of the learners. So, this is simply the critical thinking part. For the creating part, you will be making a lesson plan using peer practice strategy. So, number one, choose a topic in mathematics from grade 7 to grade 10. Any topic that you are confident and you know that you have much knowledge about it. And then, using the sample lesson found in the Explorer part, the sample I just gave a while ago, make your own lesson for your chosen topic. Make use of the competencies in the math CG for the formulation of your objectives. Create the two worksheets. So, this will be the content. The lesson topic, the objectives, the materials, the procedure. You can copy what is found in the sample for A, B, and C. But in the worksheet, you need to make your own. So, kini siyang number one question sa A o sa B, dili na siya the same problem. But similar problem. Probably, Lahi lahi lang ang given pero the same ang pagka-state sa problem. Lahi lang ang given numbers. So ang na question number 1 na adiri ang answer ni task A1. Task B1 na adiri ihang answer. Okay? So this will be for CM number 5.